lot of content here um, to go over, uh, and the details matter, and they're specific to each project. Uh, so if you are interested, two-day workshop coming up uh, uh, later in Danville, Virginia, uh, December 13th and 14th. The day one is going to focus largely on uh, these fact sheets, but to go into much more depth uh, into the details of how, how to do these types of analysis for, uh, for these projects. And then day two will be uh, focused on the system advisor model tool developed by NREL uh, with Paul Gilman. And I'm going to introduce you, Paul, uh, right now. He'll give a, a bit of an overview of, uh, of what SAM's all about. Uh, Paul is a technical writer and trainer, and he's worked on projects for the National Renewable Energy Lab, NREL, and other clients since 2002. Uh, he's written documentation for NREL's system advisor model, the SAM model, uh, PV Watts, and Homer, uh, which are all kind of project exploration uh, decision support tools uh, that uh, that can be useful for these types of, of projects. Uh, Paul designed and facilitated dozens of training workshops for energy professionals around the world and has provided technical assistance to project developers in the preparation of feasibility studies for renewable energy projects. Uh, Paul has a BS in electrical engineering from the University of Washington and a BA in music performance from Oberlin College. Uh, with that, Paul, I'll hand the controls over to you for your presentation on, on SAM. Great. Thank you, John. Um, so I'm going to try to give a, a real quick overview of, of SAM. And again, um, we'll, we'll have a whole day uh, to, to, to kind of get some hands-on experience with SAM at the, at the Danville workshop um, in December. I thought I'd start by showing you the software itself, um, just so you can get a sense of, of, of what it is. Um, and so there. Um, uh, for photovoltaic systems, there's two uh, different ways you can you can model them. There's kind of a simpler model that we call PV watts, and a more detailed model that we call detailed PV. Um, and in both cases, you you provide the model with information about the solar resource at your at your project site. So it could be a farm or location in a city, um, and then you you uh, provide information about the uh, the design of the system. So how big is the system? What kind of modules and inverters does it have? Um, information about uh, any shading uh, from trees or other nearby objects that might block sunlight from the array. Um, also shadows. If you've got uh, modules arranged in rows, they can cause shadows on each other. So that's, that kind of shading is handled by the model. And then, of course, if it snows, um, there's a period of time when the modules may be covered by snow when they can't produce electricity. So SAM covers all, all of those kinds of, of factors. Um, and then on the uh, financial side of things, uh, we look at, at um, the various costs involved in installing uh, the system. Um, and, and also uh, operating costs are accounted for. So these are costs that occur um, year to year as, as the project um, is operating. Um, and, and then we have financial parameters here. So how's the, how is the project financed? Uh, we account for costs like insurance, um, various kinds of taxes that, that uh, you may have to pay. Um, and then for commercial projects, we also account for a depreciation uh, benefit. Um, and then incentives, uh, there are various kinds of incentives that your, your project may qualify for. Those are all accounted for. And we have, as you can see, uh, uh, lots of different flavors of, of tax credits and cash payments that you might uh, qualify for. Um, and then, um, as Eric and John mentioned before, the, the value of, of the uh, electricity is very important. Um, and that's determined by, um, for these types of projects, uh, the the rate structure, the electricity rate. So so how what's the price of electricity uh, that you're paying, um, and that is going to be offset by by the electricity generated by the PV system. So we have inputs for a simple flat rate if that's what you're paying, or more complicated electricity rates with time of use rates and tiered rates and demand charges can all be modeled. Uh, and there's actually a, an online database that SAM communicates with, so it can automatically download the rate structure for thousands of utilities uh, around around the country. Um, and then, and then the other 
component here that's important is how much electricity are you using? Um, so what what is the electric load that the PV system is going to be offsetting? Um, and so you provide that uh, data. So this is the hour by hour load consumption uh, at the uh, home or commercial facility over the entire year. Um, so once you provide all of these inputs, you run a simulation and you get um, uh, the results. And um, as, as John and Eric uh, were emphasizing, and I also agree, uh, it's important to uh, consider many different uh, metrics when you're evaluating the economic or financial viability of a project. And so Sam calculates things like the levelized cost of energy, which is a kind of a number that's comparable to the average electricity rate that you're paying at the farm. So you want that levelized cost of energy to be lower uh, than, your, than the rate. Um, you have the net present value, which is probably the, the most useful and informative metric. If it's positive, then your project uh, makes financial sense. If it's negative, then it doesn't. And then our old friend, the payback period, which we all kind of struggle with because there's lots of different ways to calculate it. And it doesn't account for, for a lot of different aspects like the time value of money and expenses that shift over time and that kind of thing. But we do, we do present one flavor of the pay, or two flavors of the payback period here uh, just because it's a familiar metric. Um, and then you can dig into details. So we, we can look at uh, how the system is operating on an hour by hour basis. So this orange line is the load. And this blue line is the P, the production. So you can see the PV producing power during <clears throat> the day when the sun is rising, the sun rises, noontime, then it sets, and then this is the, the load. Um, we can look at detailed cash flow uh, on the financial side. Um, so so that's, that's kind of what SAM looks like. And a quick, very quick look at what, at what uh, kind of how, how you use it. Um, next, I want to kind of uh, show you some, some slides that kind of give you a little context for, for, uh, for SAM. <clears throat> um, so uh, SAM is free software. And what it most fundamentally does is it calculates a system's hourly or sub-hourly energy output over a single year. And then uh, based on that, that, it can calculate a total annual uh, electricity production number. And that number goes into a cash flow model along with the, the uh, cost and other assumptions so that it can calculate the cost of energy uh, over many years of operation. Um, SAM is developed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which is one of the national labs of the US Department of, of Energy. SAM is a collaborative project, so the models that have gone into it have been developed by different institutions. Um, and it was in, originally developed as an internal tool for the Department of Energy. Uh, to do its internal planning and to, to decide how money was going to be distributed. Um, and uh, once the staff started using the model and saw how powerful it was, they decided it'd be great to make it available to the public. And so in about 2007, it was first released um, and has been uh, maintained and, and upgraded uh, annually since then. SAM's really used by a wide range of people. It can do a lot of different things. Um, so this is kind of a quick taste of the kind of people who are who are using SAM, um, and it can be used for for a lot of different things, from sort of looking at a, an individual project, uh, evaluating its economic viability or just its its technical viability, uh, to doing kind of large scale um, analysis projects where you look at at the whole country on a county by county basis, and you want to generate net present value of PV system in each county where you change the design of the system uh, in each county, for example, and then you create a map. Um, so, so people are using SAM for lots of different kinds of, of things. Um, this is kind of a, a diagram showing how the performance model and the financial model work together. Um, so this makes SAM what we call a techno-economic analysis model. Um, so you provide inputs uh, to the, the performance model. It calculates the kilowatt hours produced by the system. And then there's inputs that you provide to the financial model. They get combined with those kilowatt hours 
from the performance model and out comes a cash flow from which we can calculate metrics like net present value, levelized cost of energy, and, and so on. Uh, so SAM doesn't just do PV systems it, or photovoltaic systems. It can model uh, parabolic troughs, power towers, um, solar water heating, wind power. Uh, so that's one of the things that makes it uh, powerful for sort of high-level analysis is you can compare you can compare, say, a PV system to a wind system and, and look at which one would work better for your, for your application. And then it has several different financial models. Um, the, the, it can model kind of uh, distributed energy systems. So those are systems that are installed on the customer side of a uh, utility meter where you're using the power from the system to uh, reduce an electricity bill uh, to offset electricity consumption. Um, or PPA projects, which are large power generation projects where you're building the system to, to sell all of the power uh, to an off-taker through a power purchase agreement. Um, and, and both types of models are cash flow models. So they, they calculate a cash flow based on the assumptions that you provide. Um, so as we saw, Sam can uh, can predict the system's energy output. So this is just kind of a sample of the kind of results you can get from the model on the performance side. Uh, you can use SAM to, to optimize, optimize design parameters. So when you get to the point of, you know, if you've decided uh, that the um, system, that it's worth investigating uh, PV at a particular site, then you might, might sort of dig a little further into some of the design details. And, and this is showing, uh, uh, one such detail, which is the orientation of the array. So we typically think it should be pointed directly south. Uh, that's a, a rule of thumb to maximize the energy output of the system over the entire year. But it turns out that the the climate at a at an individual location might affect that optimal array orientation. So in LA, because of the fog patterns, and in Boulder, because of afternoon thunderstorms. Uh, it actually makes sense to orient the array slightly away from from due south. So you can use SAM for that kind of analysis, uh, which is very hard to do with back-of-the-envelope calculations. Um, and then we have a, a fairly detailed pro forma cash flow. So you can use SAM for, for cash flow analysis. Um, and, and we have tools so you can export the cash flow to Excel uh, to do initial uh, additional manipulation of, of the, the numbers to calculate various metrics. Um, and then uh, just a quick mention here of, of, of you can extend SAM. SAM comes with uh, an, a scripting language that's sort of analogous to VBA in Excel. So you can, you can automate uh, the simulations in SAM. And you can also run SAM from programs that you write outside of SAM in other uh, programming languages. So if any of you are computer programmers, uh, that this would be of interest. Um, and finally, SAM is an open source project now. So that means that the, all of the code that we use to, to develop SAM, all the C++ code, and the supporting tools and documentation are available to the public on a GitHub uh, repository. Um, this means that, that you can dig in the code to, to see how the model works if you're interested. Um, it also means that, it, that uh, people from outside the lab can contribute to the model and, and help make it better, fix bugs, or if they want to contribute new models that, to, to add to SAM, that's now possible. Um, so to find out more about SAM, go to the SAM website. Again, it's free software. You can download it. Uh, you do have to provide your email address to, to run the model, um, but there's no, no cost. Um, and on the SAM website, you can find a lot more information about the model. Um, and uh, we've got support for the model. So there's, there's uh, a support forum. There's a lot of discussion about people's questions, about details of using the model. Uh, we have email that's monitored daily. The model comes with a SAM, uh, a, a health system. Uh, so so we, we try to, to uh, provide as much resources as we can. Um, and then the last thing I always end with, which, with, which uh, um, I think Eric and John alluded to as well, is that the, the, uh, at, with any computer model, any modeling exercise, the results that you get are only as good as the data that you provide it. 
um, as we say, garbage in, garbage out. So, so uh, just something to keep in mind as, as you're using uh, SAM. So that's what I had to say. Thank you.